<laughs> Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy King's Life checking in with a new video, man. Today's video is all gonna be about the S10, man. I know you guys been wanting to watch, you know, have a video of the S10, man. So today is actually gonna be a S10 video today, man. So it won't be the 96, but it will be the 99. So y'all just stay tuned, man. Today we actually about to get the first ride in the 1999 man so we're gonna see what it do it's been sitting here for so long and um collecting dust so we're gonna take it around the block man and, and hopefully we can make it back home with it and uh yeah see what it do i got plans for this thing i want y'all to stay tuned i'm waiting on parts for the uh for the 96 right now so y'all just stay tuned man parts are coming on the way and um all I can say is chrome parts, man. That's all I can say, man. So y'all stay tuned. We're about to hop into 99 and then get up out of here, man. So let's go ahead and get up in the truck. See y'all in a minute, man. Let me let me do a, a little quick, quick walk around real quick, man. Just in case this is your first time stopping in into the YouTube channel, man. This is my 99. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get it all the way together. It needs some paint right now. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna paint it. Do a little body work on it. Put some wheels, some roof, new headlights, new signals, new front bumper. Y'all just stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. We got a lot in store. I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, so I'm back, man. She start right on up, though, man. She start right on up. Let's see what lights we got on right now. We got an ABS light, so we got to figure out what's going on with that. And then also the fuel, um, the fuel gauge is not reading correctly. So I might have to get a new motor for that fuel gauge, and then we're going to be good to go on that. And then also, like I was saying before, we do need a, a whole new uh, dash dashboard or dash kit. And then, um, you know, once we get that in, we probably gonna have to take everything to a upholstery shop. I do want this, uh, these door panels, seats, everything like that. It's not gonna be done in red this time. It will be done in black with red stitching, y'all. Black with red stitching. So I want y'all to get a good idea on how it's gonna look. The dash is gonna be with the black leather with red stitching. It's gonna be nice, man. And um, yeah, I gotta take that radio out because that's we can't use that, man. We gotta go with a double then. So I always wanted a, a 99 um, S10 with a double den radio in it. So yeah, we gotta get that. We gotta make that happen, man. So right now like i said man we're gonna go on the first ride out the gate and see what this thing gonna do man definitely see what it's gonna do i gotta mount that back up too that fell down some kind of way but i'll just hold on give me a second man all right y'all so here we go man first ride First ride in the 99, man. Now we do got a check engine light on. I just seen that pop on just now. So we gotta figure it, figure it out and see what that is. We might have to take it to a uh, auto zone so we can get that looked at and see what that is. It's probably, it's probably a sensor or, or, you know, EGR valve or something like that. Something real simple. These smaller trucks, they usually, you know, just have simple issues, you know. Uh-oh, I'm spinning tires in the back, y'all. Spinning tires. So, yeah, first drive, man, I would say a long time. I would say a long time, man. Very long time. This truck really have not been on the road. And I will be putting my 96 on the road as well. And we'll do it, we'll do a drive on that one too because that one's been sitting up too for a very long time. So like I said, 
said, man, y'all want to stay tuned. I got a lot of videos coming, man. Definitely on this truck. You know, just give me a little time, man. I'm not rich. So, you know, but I'm definitely going to get these videos out for y'all, man. But uh, we're just going to go around the block, man. We ain't going to do too much. We're just going to go around the block. I don't want to go too far because like I said, that gas gauge is not working. So, and I do need to read on how how much gas I got, y'all. So, let me go ahead and back this thing up. Back it up right here. And then we're gonna go back, man. Hold on. But, uh, actually doing pretty good though y'all doing pretty good man it's a lot of things that i like about this truck that i don't like about my my 96 let me go ahead and go off the off the list of what i like about it man or should i should i just do a whole nother video man about that but uh hold on i'm in the wrong gear y'all so uh, what I do like about this truck, man, is that it does come with more features than mine. It comes with uh, like a like the tilt steering wheel and uh, more upgraded, uh, more upgraded. You know, just everything inside, man. You get the mirror that has the the lights on it. Mine doesn't come with that. And then you get, you know, what I'm saying, you get the auto on the on the headlights. All that good stuff. Things that you don't get on a 96 because it's older. This truck, when you start it, the headlights come on right away. So that's one of the things that I really like about this truck too. And then also, if you guys didn't notice, the seats on this one is bucket seats. The 96 and on down comes with the bench seat which is fine i'm okay with the bench seat but the the newer model does come with the you know what i'm saying comes with that bucket seat that one that you would want in a sporty truck man definitely want that in a sporty truck and now i'm not saying this is a sporty truck but it can be you know you can fix this thing up into a sporty truck if you want you know, you can do all types of things with this truck, man. That's what I really like about these little trucks. And they gas savers and they and they reliable, man. They uh they very much so reliable. So yeah, guys, it's shifting really good right now, man. That is a nice house that they are building over here, man. Very nice house. But uh yeah, the truck is shifting good. Like I said, we're gonna take it to AutoZone and see what that check engine light is right there. Like I said, it, should, it shouldn't be anything like a big issue. Um, maybe like a sensor or something like that. Something real simple. We can change out real quick and clear the code, man. But the truck is running good. Now, can I trust this truck going to work? I don't know, man. We gotta, like I said, we gotta figure out that check engine light first. And once we get that done, then we can, um, you know what I'm saying, get the inspection all the way right and uh, get this bad boy back on the road again, man, you know? y'all in a minute man Ooh, look like somebody just did a little burnout right here man <laughs> the 99 that did a little burnout right here man heck yeah man 99 yes sir so yeah it's the next project man like i said they take they take time but we're gonna get them right man we are gonna get these seats redone you know, 
We definitely got to get these seats redone. We got to get tint on the windows. Uh, my very first thing that I want to do with this thing, man, is get the engine running right. Get the engine running right. Get new headlights put on. Put some paint on here. And then we can just start driving it around. You know what I'm saying? Get the inspection done. Then we can start driving this thing around. The tires are in good shape. You know, as you guys can see, we got some primer on here, but it does look good, man. Y'all just wait and see what it's gonna look like afterwards. Like I said, the wheels that I got, the wheels that I am gonna put on here, they are gonna be 22s. Nice looking truck, man. nice truck man and we're not gonna go all crazy like how i'm doing on the 96 we're just gonna keep it real classy and simple and and uh you know give it a nice looking look man but man it's your boy king's life checking out with another video man that's all i got for the video stay tuned we got more videos coming man on the 96 i will be installing my my seat back in there so y'all stay tuned for that video as well and then um i kind of want to just show y'all the carpet too man as well the final finish of the carpet and then once we get the seat back in then we can go ahead and um schedule an appointment to take it to the mechanic shop that way i can get those uh led gauges put in man because i really want my gauges in before i can put it on the road man i feel safer if i can you know actually see what's going on with the engine and everything so we do got to put that in and then after that i got to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of undercoating some more on the bottom and then once we can do that then man she should be ready to go to just just to put back on the road man you know what i'm saying so but yeah we got the 99 started today we got it on the road it did good it did not break down on us man and uh, that's the most important thing, man. So, but uh, with that being said, man, it's your boy King's Life checking out. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Give me that big thumbs up, man. It helps out with a lot. And I uh, appreciate y'all, man. I love you guys. See y'all in the next video. Peace.